Andy, all I can say is you're looking absolutely bob on, mate. Really, really sharp. Yeah, it's just um, fitting in the boxing, obviously, with the job. Two going hand in hand, and hopefully, you know, I can push on to that next level now. And first and foremost, get this fight won on the 28th of September. Well, let's talk about that fight first, and then we'll talk about what comes after it. But you've got Lee Gunter, we've got an opponent yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, new kid on the circuit. Yeah. I think he's uh, been doing the role for about the last two yeah. years now. Fought on our shows a yeah. few times. Turned a couple of unbeaten kids over. Um, you know, like you said, he's, he, he comes he, and as he goes on, he's, he's still got ambition. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's not coming yeah. purely on the road to, to oh. get as many fights in as he can. Yeah. He, he's coming here to have a real fight. And as you were saying before, he's had a long training camp for yeah, this fight. Yeah, he's had, so. you know, he's had good notice. I was supposed to fight Lee last time out. Obviously, yeah, that fell through. Uh, so it's just good to obviously get back on the show now and just get fighting. Cause, yeah. um, You've so. had loads of bad luck, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. But, but yeah. the last year has been great because yeah. the reason why you've been out is because you're a, an active fireman now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you've worked with the fire service for a long time, yeah. but you, you've now actually, you know, you're, you're on the... Yeah, do you know, I've got obviously the support of all the lads down at Chatterton. Um, and you know, it's good to have them behind me. They'll all be there, they'll all be ringside come fight night. You know, I'll, first and foremost, don't want to let myself down, but I don't like what I let me, you know, my, my team down. Well, this is like I say, this is a, it's part of your training yeah, yeah. camp. Yeah. Um, yeah. But we can't, we can't overlook League yeah. Gunsen. Yeah. But I'm going to, because, you know, it's a fight that we expect you to win. Uh, hopefully, you'll come through with flying colours. Mm -hmm. um, because in November, we're not sure when now, but. Um, Dates might have changed a little bit, but sometime in November, it's all set up. You and another VIP yeah. boy, you and James Moorcroft, who I, I was just visiting, I think it was a couple of days ago. So he's absolutely up for it. He's got, a, he's fighting on the same night as you. He's got a, a little six rounder again, which we expect him to come through. And if you both come through it, then you're fighting one another. Yeah, you know, good fight, top fight for VIP, not for just VIP, but. I think it will get everyone talking again, you know, it's been a bit well, quiet. Well, you to get everyone way. talking about you fighting on the same night. Yeah, yeah. All your fans get to see your next opponent and all his fans mm. get to see you, you know, who's going to be his next opponent. Yeah, yeah. And, and going into the ring, hopefully you're going to be 10 and 1, he's going to be 12 and 0. Basically, you're unbeaten because yeah. a loss in prize fight, an like ultimate boxer, wasn't yeah. it? It's nothing, it's three round, it was, mm. you know, it's a flick of the coin, wasn't it? Yeah, it's one of them, like you said, like the lad obviously I fought. Decent as kid and paper, Very good. but he had nothing left. That I actually said to um, the lad who fought him next, Mick Marsden was my old manager. You him up. And I said to Mick, oh, I said to Mick, I said to you lad, I said, tell your lad to jump on him. I said he's got nothing left. I don't know if he was tight out of weight or whatnot, but honestly, Lee, after that first round, mm. you know the energy just just went. And when you're in there with him, you can you can see little things and you can feel little things. Well, this what excites went. me because, like you say, we we we're talking that you two have both come through your fights. Yeah. But James Moorcroft is very similar to you. He's got a great engine on him. Really has got a good engine on him. You're well renowned for your engine, yeah, yeah. you know. But you've both never done 10 rounds before. So, you know, you're both stepping up to unknown territory. Yeah, um, and you're both putting everything on the line to, to get to the next level. I mean, we think it might be uh, an English eliminator, but we're not sure yet what yeah. it's going to be. I've been told. I've been told it's an English title eliminator. Yeah. Um, but as you as you were saying there, for the with it being ten, you know, ten rounds, not being funny. But I used to bully as a kid growing up. I always sparred my brother, and we never did rounds. We used to just fight each other until one of us get in. You know, it's I've got that in me. I'm a fighter. You know, yeah. whether it be boxing whether it be in the job i love love i love the thrill you know getting in there getting involved and whether it be putting my life at risk as you know in work or whether it be putting my life at risk in the ring you know yeah. I, 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 taken. yeah i'm a i like taking the risks you know as long as it pays for rewards well you know like you say this is whatever happens the winner gets that opportunity to go to the next level oh. goes to the next level yeah. you know, uh, sooner than the other guy, you know, but I believe, truly do believe, this is going to be an absolute cracking fight for the fans, and I, I, I think whoever wins in this, because I don't know, I don't know whether you are or whether he is, I really don't, I think it's, it's so evenly matched that 
I, I think both fighters will go on to win bigger and better titles anyway, mm. you know, further down the line. But uh, I think you've been a pro a lot longer now. Uh, you, like we said before, you've had a, a lot of bad luck. Hopefully that's all behind you now. And uh, this means you can move forward. And you know, before Christmas, it could be. Yeah. You know? People forget how long I've been around the circuit. You know, as a, when I was starting off, I done my apprenticeship. You know, sparring the likes of Blood and Denton Vassell and Barnsley. You know, so I've been in with them top class operators, and you sort of, you know, got to get them. I had spars in that, that little shine on your eye there. Yeah. Isn't that Jack Cattrall's work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you can't saying, get much better than that. You're talking world class there. Yeah, do you know what I mean? I like to step up. I like to step up with these, you know, these good fighter, world class lads and uh, get in there and test myself because I'm not going to learn. I've been sparring really well, but I'm not going to learn by just getting in the ring and potatoing lads. Well, I noticed there with Matthew, I mean, he's, he's, a, he's a hard taskmaster, but he was punishing you there because he, uh, you do like to showball in there. You, you, you're a flare fighter. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, you know, when you're dropping your hands, he's catching you. 10, 10, pencils, 10 burpees, whatever it was, wasn't it? Yeah, and like you say, I like to you know, keep people on, you know, entertained and keep people interested in boxing. A lot of people don't want to just come and see people, you know, like two lads that just have it lumped out of each other. They want to see a bit of flair and that, you know, I'm mm -hmm. trying to get, hopefully I can get a few well, really casual got that. fans. You've got it, Mokoff's yeah. got that, you know. People were talking about him from his first fight. I think people were talking about James more than anything because of his, fact from where he's come from. You were a good amateur, you boxed my own amateur club. Um, so you've got that solid pedigree behind you, but James Moorcroft, it's a white qualifier. Mm. He hates me when I say that. He's gonna, he's gonna crucify <laughs> me when he hears that. But that's where he's come from. Mm. But to watch him box, you can't tell. Mm. He's a very skillful kid, as is you. Mm. So, <laughs> if you come through on the 28th, which I expect you to, then sometime in November, yeah, definitely. We're in for fireworks. I can't wait. Like I say, I can't wait to get in there and make the best man win. Well, that's it. I, that's all I have to say because you're both VIP fighters. So, you know, I think that the, the fans on that night will be in for a real, real treat. Yeah. But we have to get through the 28th. Yeah, I can't overlook Lee Gunner. Lee Gunner's a good kid. Like, yeah. Spot he's Luke a, Evans. He's a ginger, isn't he? So, you know, yeah. he knows how to fight. Yeah. <laughs> Done a few rounds with Luke Evans. Um, obviously, spoke with Luke about him and that. And, you know, he's not a Yeah, because Luke he fought him on one of our shows, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, yeah. So, it'll be a nice little test. And, uh, you know, got to come through that to get where I want to be. Well. Hopefully, like I say, I'll be chatting to you with win number 10 on uh, September the 28th down in Bolton and uh, that'll set up a cracking fight. And in fact, we'll probably do an interview with both of you there on the, on the yeah. night and uh, let's get there. Let's get the crowd excited about what could be, I agree, one of the best fights we put on. That will be. Mr. I'm going to do a Chisora. <laughs> what? What, bend over and use no basket? <laughs> Steve, get a title on the, get a title on the line for this yeah, one. Are you walking? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, listen, uh, good luck for the 28th, mate, like right, I say. Right. Hopefully I'll be chatting to you and win number 10, mate. Yeah, Take care. Alright, bye.